Hey there, sixth graders. Welcome to week four, day three. <laughs> We're getting there uh, uh, little by little, right? <laughs> um, anyway, today is, you know, you got it, your favorite, Spelling Jeopardy, since we will have our spelling quiz immediately after the review session, or we finish up the review session. So um, today's lesson is really our devotion. And it's a good one for you and especially for Mrs. Jones. So if you would keep her in your prayers, uh, I'll talk about it when we get into the devotion as well. Because it's, it's all this is a challenge. Again, it's not just you guys struggling. It's your parents. It's your staff at the school. It's uh, your neighbor. It's just about everyone. So um, I, I like this devotion for that very reason so that we could uh, take that into consideration. And hopefully focus our cares and concerns on the Lord. This verse, perfect, and I love the view. Is it just peaceful, mysterious, tranquil, just what at least I need right about now. I'm hoping you're benefiting it from it too. But our verse is, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest from Matthew 11:28. 28. And uh, I don't know you as sixth graders are having as much difficulty as some of the, some of the older classes are with the load. Um, but it can get a bit much and this confusing platform if you're not used to tech, which is definitely my case, I've kind of avoided it. I think it's so impersonal and uh, now it's being forced upon all of us, whether you're into the tech world or not, it has become our life, at least for this duration. And it, it is, it's a, it's a burden. So here we go. I need to give this burden over to the Lord, as do you. This, again, this devotion is beneficial to you and definitely beneficial to me. I think I take too much on my shoulders and try to do just everything just so and just perfect. And then I get behind and then I get stressed. And again, it's, a, it's something I'm sure you're all going through and your family members. It's just, these are very uncertain times. And so let's remember to give all of those cares, all of our burdens, all of our labor that we're doing, give it to the Lord. He will give us the rest, the peace, the strength, the endurance, everything for the long haul. So let us trust him. And then on that note, let us pray together with thought, please. To thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, we hasten on rising from sleep. By thy mercy we go forth to do thy works, and we pray unto thee. Help us at all times and in all things. Deliver us from every evil thing of this world and from the pursuit of the devil. Save us and lead us into thine eternal kingdom. And hear, O Lord, the prayers of thy servants. For the coronavirus to be eradicated and for the people who have contracted it to get better, including Parker's mom's friend and Tristan's mom's friend. For our healthcare workers who work with those infected with this disease, including Gatlin's mom, Cooper's dad, Tristan's dad's, and JB's mom. For people in the hospitals or nursing homes who cannot have their families visit them. For all essential workers and others who are at greater risk of exposure to COVID-19, including Jada's dad, Zuriel's dad, Kendall's dad, and JB's cousins. For our families to get along and for everyone to have the essentials they need, for those who suffer from allergies like Luke and Mr. Jones, may they be relieved of their affliction. For any experiencing pain and other afflictions like Elena's mom, Caroline's dad, Tristan's grandpa, and Hunter's grandparents. For all we lift up in our hearts like Isaac Stanglin. For Jaycee's dog who is old and near death, may she not suffer and pass peacefully. For all these things we beseech you to intervene. And Lord, giver of all, you also deserve our thanks and praise for the healing of Andrew's grandparents and a successful procedure for Mrs. Neal's mother, for those you have blessed with ingenuity to make the essentials when they're not available, like Luke's family who whipped up some homemade butter, and for the gift of life like Elias Matthew. And finally, dear master, while we thank thee for the ability to use this electronic platform to complete our academic year, we again ask you to heal our broken hearts as we mourn the loss of the camaraderie of the traditional school experience with friends, activities, and the normalcy we had taken for granted. Let us be strengthened through and by this adversity that we might grow further in the grace and knowledge that will serve us in the days to come. All this we lay before thee, for thou art our creator, provider, and bestower of every good. Wherefore, all our hope is in thee, and to thee we ascribe glory, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Well, I think that says it all, boys and girls. <laughs> a good way to start the day or end your day if you're viewing this on uh, the evening before. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you shortly in our Zoom session of Jeopardy. I hope you've been practicing your spelling words and maybe you've even done some of those fun ex assignments that I put up, uh, making your own Jeopardy prompts and doing some matching with Google images. That was Mrs. Taylor's idea. I thought that was so cool. I did something like that from my eighth grade for vocab. I thought, oh, why don't you guys do that? It would just be a little fun. Again, optional, but a great way to review those words so you're ready for the quiz and of course our Jeopardy challenge. Great way to earn some more gems, jewels, guys. So until then, you're in my prayers, my thoughts, and my heart. Take care, all. Bye-bye.